How far guys? My name is Ario Ifyo Kadebanjo. I'm a commercial food and documentary cinematographer. I'm here today to talk about storyboards with um, 35mm. First thing we would like to do is define a storyboard. A storyboard is a sketch or group of illustrations that show the angles or scenes that are to be taken during a production. Now I'm going into the advantages of a storyboard. It helps you get straight into it so there is no second guessing on what to do next or how to go about it because you've already done the, your homework so what you just do is set up and just start shooting the second advantage of a storyboard it basically helps all the departments on set know exactly what to do especially the light and the camera department the biggest advantage of a storyboard is it can save your time the biggest disadvantage for me is sometimes it doesn't help the director be flexible no matter how detailed my storyboard is i should always always leave space for spontaneous moments it can be a whisper from one of the crew members or just something you observe while filming and it can just spark an idea that could definitely like uplift the entire story so always keep an open mind so you don't miss out on like very important and spontaneous moment that the holy spirit can drop sometimes yeah the next thing we're going to be talking about is my own process we're going to be using one of the shoots i did for um food court so what i did was first of all visit the kitchen now look at the space we're going to be shooting um, take pictures or make videos it depends on you after that i come back home and write down all the locations I'm going to be filming in, all the items I should be filming, and then move to um, fleshing out the storyboard. Get to drawing or get to using your app or um, software. In this very production, the first scene is somebody holding a phone and we're getting an over the shoulder shot of the person ordering. The next thing that happens is in the kitchen, somebody takes the order, tries to process it and sends it to the chefs, depending on what is being requested. So you go from burger to salad to jollof rice, really depends on whatever it is that the person has ordered. And from there, it goes back to the person that the person's order has been processed. Now, after the chef is done preparing, they send it back to the person who um, sent the request to them. And this person now has to take the food and package them. Now take it to the delivery bay where um, a delivery bike would now take it, get into his bike and now zoom off to go and deliver. So that's exactly what the story flow was. Immediately I finished outlining all my short list. I also went ahead to write down the B-rolls that I would love to get. Now I couldn't flesh this out in sketch or in drawing. So I just wrote them out and when I got on set, it was easy for me to look, okay, we're going to do the B-roll of the rice from side to side or the chef's hand when they are doing this. So generally it helps to give the story a more holistic feel so b-rolls are very 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 important if you cannot draw it always make sure you write it out don't forget keep an open mind when you get to set because i always work with the holy spirit before i start editing or shooting i always like to pray that's how i get a lot of my inspiration thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day hopefully see you next time